This is the moment Israeli soldiers broke into Al-Aqsa Mosque on Friday night, dispersing worshippers and spreading panic and terror. Israeli police fired rubber bullets and stun grenades as Palestinian protesters hold objects in self-defense. The Red Crescent said at least 205 Palestinians were wounded and nearly 90 required hospitalization. Israel's media reported that 17 Israeli officers were injured. During the violence, Al-Aqsa officials appealed for calm in the compound through the mosque's loudspeakers and asked Israeli soldiers to leave. While on social media, people compared the violence of Israeli police to police brutality in the US. This particular video circulated widely on social media as people compared it to the police brutality that led to the death of George Floyd. But what's behind this tension? Tensions have been building up in East Jerusalem in the last few weeks over the possible eviction of Palestinian families from their homes in the Sheikh Jarrah neighborhood. Their properties were claimed by Israeli settlers and several Palestinian families are awaiting a much feared final Israeli court order that could lead to eviction from their homes. In recent days, many Palestinians took to the streets to protest the eviction plan, adding pressure to the much anticipated court order on May 10th. On the final Friday of Ramadan, tens of thousands of worshippers packed into the Al-Aqsa Mosque to pray and many stayed on to protest their support for Palestinians facing eviction.